Greetings, Baita friends. Ben Pearson, the Redster Tracker. We are back with uh, Factorio Space Age DLC. It's amazing the number of patches that have come out for this game already. Um, it's actually kind of surprising, to be honest. Do I want pumps yet? No, we're still too full of inventory. And what are we? Hmm. I mean, like, chem labs, maybe we could dump... Eh. Yeah, let's dump some chem labs and stuff like that. We'll dump it when we get up there. It's fine. Um, I'm trying to think of what we're going to need for our new factory. And we will need some protection. So, yeah, let's definitely dump some of this kind of stuff. Hmm. I might need a building train, but a building train without robots is just painful. It's okay. We'll do that. Um, okay. Let's go pick up some smelters because we're going to need a bunch of those. The goal is to set up our... Uh, copper smelting station. Probably have enough rails. Eh, we could use at least one more rail car. Okay. I'm going to pick up one more of these stations too. One more locomotive. If I have a feeling that will come in handy. Let's pick up lots of bullets and we'll pick up however many grenades that we can get our hands on. I think we'll be in pretty decent shape with that. Really? Well, fine. Let's just stick this partial stack there. Uh, let's go dump stone and coal. And then belts, we're, we'll need some belt for sure. Okay. And the coal. <clears throat> uh, inserters, I think we've got enough. Yep. Let's just pick up this till it's full. And I think we're good. Yeah. yeah. I think we're good. I guess we'll just walk up. Um, yeah, it's to the copper mine. I mean... It's a little tempting to get this copper out, but nah. This copper may just end up getting ignored completely. No, let's go ahead and do it actually. I changed my mind. I want to get this copper and we're going to prioritize the use of this copper because I want this to be gone soon. I'm going to go ahead and put a radar here first. We'll power this up and then I'm only going to take like two belts worth, maybe. Yeah. Two belt. Yeah, two belts isn't too bad to do. Let's come over here towards the mall. Hopefully we can find a connection point around there. Like right there. So I'm just going to take the raw ore up. I'm not going to do anything too fancy. Two yellow belts worth. Uh, that means I probably don't have enough belt, but that's okay. Okay. 
So the robot vacuum cleaner, the current status is I, uh, it has a mopping cloth that needs to be washed. And so I'm washing that cloth and we're going to keep trying. I, you know, it's been for a variety of reasons. It's been a little while since I've really swept. I've done some basic stuff, but you know, swept and mopped the house. So just seeing how well it does. I don't tend to make a lot of mess either. So I have no idea how it's going to turn out, but we'll see. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. <clears throat> I'm going to prioritize the... Do I want to prioritize the parts that are going to be used faster or slower? No, I'm going to prioritize the filler. I'm going to try to keep this going as long as possible. So I'm going to prioritize the lines that are fuller. Yep, perfect. So this may end up being interesting. No, let's... Yeah. Choices. Okay. Whoops. Want to prioritize one side. Yeah. Okay. I will go ahead and balance this here. Whoops. Yep, straight up. Someday we'll have robots to help us take this stuff down, but... The Nullius Maximus factory, even though we used a lot of trains in it, it really wasn't that big. This already feels bigger than that factory did. Um, maybe that's a little naivete. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to keep taking these. Okay. <clears throat> out of miners that's fine i want to bring this to here somehow we're going to prioritize these two Don't know fully how we'll do that yet, but yeah, it's fine. Okay. Let's think this through. So the smelter columns should be, we've got coal coming in. I think we're gonna do a near exact copy of this.
Where are we going to put this? The one difference is, is we probably actually want to go the other direction. So if we, well, what if we put this like this? So then the copper is coming up here. Now let's do it like this. And really, we should have six. Because we're going to have four of coal. We should have six. And then that will make the math right. So part of the priority system is we're going to have these two fed in their own separate belts. No, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, all right. This is good. We're gonna need some more wood at some point in time for the power poles. Let's go ahead and bring this here. Okay. I like the idea of smelting a little bit lower too, because smelting is pretty pollution inducing and this should help keep things somewhat away from prying eyes, so to speak. Okay, actually that's not where we want it. We want... I'm gonna just keep putting these down. And then right here, this is where we'll put it. Perfect. That'll give us the full coverage that we need on everything, I believe. Uh, let's turn off the pollution. Yeah. We won't have uranium, but that's okay. We don't need it. Say that yet, we don't even have power here. Why? Uh, we must have skipped one of the lines. Oh, does this have power? Yeah. This does not. What doesn't? So this has electricity and then this does not. Okay, so that's the connection point that's missing. Let's see, what can we do to improve you? There we go. And we even have the uranium. Perfect. Okay. Um, start setting this up. I know, lots and lots of episodes of nothing but laying down these smelting columns, but robots are coming soon and they're going to come in like massive force. I'm telling you, it's going to be epic. So I'm going to lay down these and just these machines for the moment just because I'm going to free up a little bit of space and then we're going to actually go set up the station plastic and station sulfur so we can get that started. But these we know we're not going to need so we'll have plenty of space in our inventory just in case stuff happens. And this will give us a sense as to how many of these we're actually going to need for the next phase. Hmm. Okay. Don't know how many more we have, but this would not surprise me this is oh we got one more stack we might actually be able to finish this whole thing wow didn't think that was gonna happen oh 
Okay, we got a few trees. <laughs> yep. Of course, it's just a little bit at the end. So let's just put these down. It's good. Um, <clears throat> all right. So we're going to let this be for a little scooch and we're going to set up our plastic in and our sulfur, or plastic out and sulfur out stations. Let's kill this because we don't need that many radars. I think one is probably enough. I think in Nolius we needed more than one. We also don't need these. Okay. Before we go too far though, I do want to set up this next station just because just that far. Okay. So we're going to have one belt, but I'm going to pretend like we're going to have, because we will have more of each of these eventually. This is why we needed extra room, stuff like this. Knew we were going to have to deal with that. Um, let's do plastic first. And plastic, I think it's one coal per two plastic, so... Let's do the splitter here. No, that's fine. Where it was. Mm. We want it actually right like this. Oh. I want to upgrade these guys, actually. Should be equal priority, but yeah, whatever. Let's get the power lines laid down first. Whoops. I may start burning some of these wood crates. Okay, good. There's one more. Okay, hang on. This is actually fine. We don't need this splitter, I don't think. Yeah, because it only needs to be split once. So that design actually will do. Basically, you split each, each, you have to go through three splitters and each path will go through three splitters, so that's fine. I knew something was wrong with that design, but... Okay. Okay, and... Um, I do want to do this just for the purpose of train tracks. Okay. For the rail signal. So we're going to need some red. Now, I'm planning on taking four plastic belts down here eventually. So this is the one that's actually going to come down for now there. Just let it happen. Let it snow. Oh, 
I'll let it all get a little bit. So that's going to massively increase the amount of coal because coal pollution, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with a little bit of pollution every now and then. I mean, there's a little bit of truth to that, but. Uh, maybe I'm just the bad guy. I don't know. Okay. That should be plastic. So let's go ahead and set this up. Um. We're only ever going to need two of these lines. You know, I kind of screwed myself here. Problem is, is there's not really enough room to do this without red belts. Well, for the moment, we're just going to put fuel in manually. We'll figure out how to make the rest of that work later. How functioning are these? Fully functioning, more or less. Okay. <clears throat> now this sulfur this is not needed nearly as much but it stacks so high so I'm gonna assume we're gonna have at least two belts of this let's just plan for the same eventuality I'm gonna plan for at least two, but I'll go ahead and set the lines up for four and we know that we're gonna have some finagling to do. So let's actually erase this whole blueprint. Instead, I'm gonna copy this guy. Whoops. I'm gonna kill these because I don't really trust those. And you know, trees are the enemy, so who cares? Whoops. It's always fun when you have to go repair tracks because you went a little bit overboard with the tree killing. It's just kind of a rite of passage though. Whoops, um, let's go ahead and put the power poles first. Okay. And then we do need these guys. Oh, that's right, we can't do all of them. It's just really these two. Okay. And we'll have another sulfur belt down there eventually. All right, let's see. Do, do, here, here, and then bloop, bloop, and bloop, and bloop. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. That's good. So we're low on gas, which means we need more refineries, which is fine. I think I have more. Okay, let's uh, do some grenades first. Let's start with the power poles. Then I'm going to place these down. Then we'll get the middles of uh, the pipes. I'm going to consider between episodes getting all of the pipes laid down. Just, you know, speed things along a little bit. It, don't be surprised if it happens. Anything remotely exciting I'm going to do on camera, but not everything is remotely exciting. do need a little bit of biter protection here so I'm gonna set a little bit of a screen here it's probably about great three four five six seven eight and okay right, whoops hang on we're going to take half of these guys out. And I'm going to go a little bit more to the left because I don't think we've got enough of this covered. But hopefully this will be enough to attract their ire. take half of these guys up perfect <clears throat> that should be good enough and then let's just check the pollution map yeah they're getting kind of close so we're probably gonna have to take care of those guys too okay still this will give us a little bit of protection I'm not one to make a big giant, you know, keep out biter wall. I know some people do that. And I'll do some choke points, but you know, I like to do this kind of thing, especially once you have lasers. I like to just set up a few laser turrets on kind of the edge. So it's a effective wall, but without being a wall. There's probably mods that you can build walls using basically the biters, so you build a wall and make the biters pay for it with their lives. Okay. If there's not a mod for that, there should be. Not that I'm a fan of any particular presidential candidate or his or her policies. Yeah. I have my opinions, but I'm going to keep them out of the channel, and I'll leave it at that. Um, although, this is probably pretty close to election day, so, you know, if you are in the U.S., research the candidates, research the positions carefully, and vote wisely. And that's all I got to say. I did it in not between episodes. And then this one's going to be water. Okay. So now once we get the heavy oil processing, we can set it up pretty quickly and easily. Yeah, that should be a good enough barrier. This water 
we might be able to set up a biter free area I'm really interested to see what the radar has to say Ooh, kind of like this all right um, we know we can take one of these coal lines. I'm actually going to split this here. And part of it's going to be used to feed stuff. Ooh, we're out of belts. Well, all right then. Let's go ahead and get this so it's a proper train station as well. Okay. and drag I'm sure it's not for me that they did this but uh oh shoot um I need one belt there let's do Unfortunately, you can't do that with <gasps> That works too. I'm just middle click dragging. Oh man Happy days happy days Okay, it's so much easier to have that set up now uh, So much easier. Okay, let's dump whatever fuel we have in here good Now I'm gonna take the coal train back I don't understand. Well, okay, it's not too bad. It's kind of weird that it's unbalanced, but eh, it is what it is. <sighs> We're getting very, very, very close. So I'm going to take this. Actually, come here. Then you can go do your thing wherever it may be. I don't care. Chop chop. Alright. Good. Now let's go pick up some more bullets. And grenades. And smelters and miners. Okay. I think that's the big things that we need. Uh belts. So we're just going to restock and we'll finish the episode here. So next episode, we're going to start up at the new base. Uh, we have plenty of inserters, actually. At our new outpost and keep working on it. Uh, we just need, honestly, this is more than we need. Let's just take one stack of these. Yellow belts will need tons and tons of it. Blue inserters were probably going to need some. I think we're actually doing decent though. So we'll take all this stuff and do green circuits, red circuits. I don't know. Red circuits need more copper and uh, do I want to combine the green and the red circuit factories together yeah is there another copper mine anywhere just these two and our initial one Oh, there's these guys. So if I was going to outpost more copper, 
then we would need to have it be smelted somewhere else and brought in. Okay, so we have copper. Hmm. Well, I'll give this a little think between episodes. Um, no, I'm going to put my foot down. We are not going to build another outpost yet. We're going to wait until we've got red circuits going. So we're going to put the green and the red circuit outpost together. And in fact, the green circuit is going to be just to produce red circuits. Although I may keep a station in reserve if we need to import the green circuits. But green circuits, just for the mall and the research, you don't really need a lot. Most of your green circuits actually go into making red circuits and even more so into making blue circuits. So we don't really need a outpost for green circuits until we are at that stage. Okay, I've convinced myself. Um, just real quick. <gasps> We're getting more and more separation between these. That's good. And then I want to just check the power. Last thing. We probably should set up some power to... I'll do that next time. So next time we're going to set up another power column. And then we're going to get the smelting columns all wired up. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Let me know whatever questions or comments you guys have. I appreciate everything that you do for the comments, the tips, the likes, the subscribing especially. Um, thanks for everything. Until next time, keep on tracking. Take care. We will see you then. Bye-bye.